Yo koso, Japanese Quest the way. Welcome to Japanese Quest. We continue our journey today for the World Tree. We continue our journey into the Japanese language. Uh, the cat, Griffin, the Nako, is with us. So we are unstoppable. Our first party member here was this cat. But as we have more people follow and uh, join in the chat, we can gain more party members for this quest. Maybe like a fellowship, like sometimes we compare it to Lord of the Rings. Or maybe a group like uh, the Straw Hats in One Piece. The Straw Hats have Chopper as their mascot. We have the cat as our mascot. So in the chat, let me draw that kitty. There's the kitty. Yosh. And uh, as you can see on the screen, it says Yokoso. That just means welcome. So Yokoso, Japanese quest away. This is a stream that's a little unique. I'll talk about a few of its features for anyone just joining us. Uh, we travel in the game, and our goal is to level up in the game and level up in real life too in Japanese. Uh, the way we measure progress is what makes Japanese quest unique. We have two metrics. For measuring progress in the language. Domo, konbanwa Ignio-san, genki desu ka? How are you doing, Ignio-san? Good to see you. The two metrics we use, one is power level. You can see that down here. So far on our quest, our power level has been increasing every day as we add more words to our shared power level down here for Japanese quest. This is our shared power level. I see Okomijin says, Akira-sensei, is there a Japanese word for other form? For example, miru instead of miru. Hmm. <laughs> Good question, Okomijin. I think there probably is, but... I'm not sure of the official word for it. I might just say something like... Hoka no kakikata, like another way of writing. But I'm not sure. That'd be an interesting thing to look up. Uh, good question. But yeah, a lot of kanji have multiple writings. And just like you see in the chat here, if anyone is watching, feel free to join. You can be a party member too. And feel free to ask questions down here. My name is Akita Sensei. I'm a Japanese teacher. I can try to answer your questions. And uh, other people here also have a high power level in Japanese. They can answer your questions too. Questions about the game. Or comments about the game, that's fine too. Genki desu ka, sensei? Hai! Genki desu. Genki desu yo. Ah, I thought about doigo synonym or doigo. Yeah, that's a little different. That's more just for synonyms, words that share a similar meaning. The kitty is on the move. The kitty's on the move. <laughs> yeah, so that's a little bit of a different sense. So our first metric here is power level. As we get no, new words in the game, we can suggest the words over here in chat, and then we add them to our power level down here, and they will show up as we continue our journey through this game and maybe other games in Japanese. The other good thing about writing on the screen is you can make straw hats easily on the characters. Sticky this name. And our other metric here we have a learning target. Every day we'll have something we're searching for in the game. So it's kind of like a game within the game. Today we're searching for kara. Kara. And I see Ignil says, uh, I've noticed at the end of names, people add things like kun and chun. What do they mean? That's a good question. You might hear san or kun or chan at the end of names or sometimes sama. And Okamijin gives a really good example a really good answer to it. Those are honorifics which indicate your relationship with the other person. Yeah, that's exactly right. So different names you can say after someone's name. Kun is for boys, young boys. Chan is for young girls usually. San is kind of the generic one that's used kind of for everyone. In a business setting you'll say San like Tanaka-san. Um, so that's, that's a safe one to use. Um, the really respectful one sometimes you see in anime and you'll say to, if you want to be really respectful, is uh, sama. 
You might say Sama, things like that. All right, let's erase some of this and talk a little bit about Kara before we begin our journey. Oh no, we're a little bit past the undo threshold. Went too crazy with those stick people. Got to start a new file here. Jotamate gozai. Need to get the correct coloring back. Yosha. Okay, so again, today, our gaming target is to save the world. Our goal is to go to the world tree, save the world in this game. Our learning target is cut up. Cut up. So we need help from all the party members in this game to find this. It's a piece of, it's a grammar construction. We need to find kata in the game. And the basic meaning of kata is from. From is the basic meaning of kata. But we'll see if they have more meanings as well. From, for example, when I lived in Japan for two years, I would often say, America kara kimashita. I came from America. So you can say things like, America kara kimashita. Or you can say things like, Hachiji kara kuji made. Meaning, from 8 o'clock until 9 o'clock. Things like that. So anyway, the basic meaning of kara is from, but it can also mean things like because or so, depending on the context. Or after. So we will look today and see if we find it in game. And if we see it, we'll mark the time so we can kind of have a textbook based on video games, hopefully, at the end of this. Uh, might take some work to put together. But anyway, let's continue here. Where were we in this game? Everyone just coming in, welcome. Yokoso, Japanese quest the way. It's good to see everyone. So Igneo says, interesting. Today I learned this word during school. This will be fun. Yeah, you can help us find it. Onigaishimasu. And we might need to do a bit of fighting, though. So let's... Uh, I think there's monsters up here. The kitty is... Hmm. Kitty was hiding. Yoshi, ikimashou. Isho ni ikimashou. Bouken shio. Ooh, level 31. What level are we anyway? That's pretty high level. Yeah, we're only level 27. Uh, let's make sure we use our pouch items again. Are we still only 39 seconds left? Okay. Abu night. So the whole idea of this quest, if you're just joining, it's called Japanese Quest. There's really two games within the game we're playing here. We have the normal quest inside the game to level up, to uh, beat the game essentially. And then we have the game within the game, which is leveling up in Japanese. Trying to collect and learn the Japanese language as we play the game. So a big part of what this channel does is just trying to create a framework for teaching Japanese through video games, or teaching a language through video games. Yosh. I think we want this elevator, ne? Let's see what this guy has to say. Maybe he'll say kara. This guy... Hafado, Hafado. Let's see if Hafado says kara. And then uh, Okamijin says, Sekai wo aku kara tasukeru. Yes, we can save the world from evil. So desu yo ne. All right. Hanashi wo kikasete hoshii mo. We'd like to hear what you have to say. Uh, kono shoko ki o agatta saki ga um, Teto Aruba Maken Magenda. So the uh, the capital's up there, so it's closer than I thought it would be. Up the elevator there. Sperubia Rashi Takai Gijitsu de Tsukarata Kochipuya Accessory Ga Utteruze. 
So they have courtships, they have accessories, they're selling those, and they have Takai Gijutsu. So another thing we do on this quest is certain sentences are kind of an interesting, interesting to look at. So maybe we can help learn how to read a little bit in Japanese if other people want to play Japanese games. And if you do play Japanese games and you're trying to learn that way, yeah, f please tell us in the chat um, or on the Discord so uh, we can follow you and host you maybe. We can... It's not just about this one Japanese quest. It's about Japanese quests maybe all over Twitch, all over YouTube. Uh, let's take a look at this language a little bit. So, Takai Gijutsu. So, Takai means high. We learned that word already. Takai. And then, Gijutsu means technology. So, it means advanced technology. So, they have advanced technology in this city. And using that advanced technology, they have nice courtships and accessories that we can buy, which should be nice because we might need some new ones, stronger ones. Poram! Genki desu ka? Good to see you again. Uh, I don't know if you saw the stream at all yesterday, Poram, but I showed I showed your your list. I introduced it kind of at the beginning as a power-up. Poram made a list of a uh, kind of game tango, game vocabulary, and we looked at it yesterday. Uh, maybe really quick, I want to show it today, since you're here now. Uh, thought it was a really cool list. Let's quick switch to the browser cam. So Poram... One of our party members here, one of our nakama. Uh, sometimes you meet nakama that they bring a lot to the party. This is one of those situations. So here you can see this whole list. If you think about it, how many words are on this list? These are all words having to do with video games that Polaram put together. If we learned all these, our power level could go up by 146. That's a massive power up. We'd be more powerful than Goku in... Dragon Ball Z in the first show, if we did that. We're not going to do that. We're not going to jump into it. But what I did say yesterday is that these words, some of these words, like maho, are so foundational games. Ken, we still haven't added to our power level yet. Maho Tsukai, wizard. And the ones down here, some of these landforms. Yesterday we went to one of these. Dokutsu, cave. Mori, forest. We did add Mori yesterday, actually. So we added this one. Yama, kawa, uh, river and mountain. Um... This will be a great kind of help. If we're ever stumped for words to add at the end of a stream, uh, we can look at this for inspiration and say, oh yeah, we saw that. Oh, we saw, yeah, fune. We definitely saw the word for boat. Uh, uma, we met a horse as well. Let's add that. So if there's anyone else who has these lists they've been sitting on for years, maybe from Final Fantasy or something, maybe you have a script from a game, this is a place where party members can come together and from all corners of the world, the internet, we can join forces and inspire each other in Japanese and level up together. Yishoni, level up shimashou. Kaminari, that's a good word. Arashi, storm, mizu, water. We did add mizu, but a lot of these we haven't added. We did add kaze. A lot of these elements are elements of kind of magic in the game, so we have added some of those. You see hono a lot, flame. Anyway, let's go back to the game, but later on, We'll go to our power level. These are the words we were we learned last time, and we'll add to the power level here. And we'll use the dictionary to look those up. Let's go back to the game here. What does a scouter say about his power cool. level? So Napa again wants to know our power level. You can see that down here, Napa. Right now it's 160, but our power level is rising. Especially with the help of Podom and others. And Igniel says, that's a lot of video game words. It's a lot. But we're gonna get a lot more, and we'll Combine forces with Podom. I feel like we're like in Lord of the Rings when uh we got our group, we got our fellowship, and then Podom comes and he's like from Rohan, and he's, maybe Podom's like Eomer. He brings like that whole new army, that whole new power level we can join to our own. Benkyojimasho, so desne. So where were we? Doraiba nara ichiro gorai wa mitte iku beki da. So if you are a driver. Drive nara, ichiro gorai at least once. You should have a look at all the the chips up there. Beki, this last part means you should do something. Yosh. Ato, teito no meshi wa, omune mazui ga. So the food there is not so good. Um, katai, katareta dake wa osusume da. So the only 
thing they recommend. This is a good word, actually. Osusume. So my recommendation is only one thing. Um, katareta. I'm not sure what that means. I guess it's some kind of special food they have for this area. And then dake meaning only. And then osusume, recommendation. So only I have one recommendation. Their specialty called katareta. Yoshi. Ika. Kashu dake wa kuna yo. Don't eat kashu. Okay. Uh, ano okayu wa honto ni doka shiteru kara na. So there's something strange with that food, with that kayu. Yeah, I believe that's the word for kayu, right? Just want to double check that. Uh, so we can bring up this dictionary here and check things from time to time to be 100%. I lived in Japan, but I'm not a native speaker. So yeah, that's the kanji for kayu, porridge. And porridge is something we actually leveled up in before on the journey. Um, so they're talking about don't try this porridge. Uh, and actually we found the kara, so if someone could do an uptime, that'd be really cool. Just uh, exclamation point uptime and we can mark where we are right now. Because we did find the kara particle right here. Let's underline it. And if someone could do the uptime, that would be awesome. Arigatouzaimasu, Sage san So 18 minutes in, 18 and a half minutes into our stream, we already found kara from this guy. I knew that this guy Hafado would not let us down. Okay, let's see what Kara is doing here. So he's saying, Ika, kashi dake wa kuna yo. So he's saying, don't eat kashu. So this food they have up there, don't eat it. Ku means to eat, and then kuna yo, don't eat. And then he's going to talk about why. And then at the end, Kara will be telling the reason, kind of like because. So, ano kayu wa honto ni doka shiteru. So something is strange. There's something strange with that. And so the way you can give that answer is doka shiteru kara. So kara says, so because all of this, don't eat the kashu. So don't eat this weird porridge um, because there's something strange with it. <laughs> Porom says, demo okayu ga daisuki. Oh, you do like, you like the porridge. So desu ne. So again, first kara that we found, we'll try to find at least four more. In this case, it means because. So because it's strange. Doka shiteru kara. Kuna yo. Don't eat it. Yoshi. Eat the porridge. Igniel wants to eat the porridge. Well, Igniel's a dragon. He might be okay. You can eat the porridge. Jubun shui. So be careful. All right. Mo. Yeah, what if we died in this elevator here? Mo. Yeah, Igniel says the, the particle of the nopan there. Mo. We studied Mo yesterday, by the way. If you want to check out that, that VOD, you can. Hope this is the right elevator here. In this game, the nopan characters like to say Mo 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 over and over again. It's kind of their dialect. Yeah, like Tora Sensei here. Tora is a nopan. Likes to say Mo. Okay, so now we're almost to where we need to go. Dare We see someone over here. Dare de show. Who are they? Hmm. Only Byako saw them. Oh. So this is the capital of the empire. So I'm very excited. Uh, literally what it's saying is my blood, chi, chi ga sawagu. My blood is like making a lot of noise. My blood is like freaking out. Ooh, nice. Hana no power up. This is a nice phrase to look at because this is also what we want to do in Japanese quest. Power up. Power up shitai desu ne. We try to power up. We try to level up our power level. We power up there. And what Tora is trying to do here too is hana no power up. He wants to power up his uh, robot here, his android blade. Um, tsukaru. 
junk upatsu utte nai ka. So maybe they have some junk parts that I can buy here. See a comment over there. So many good words. So this net. Tekoku chi, pao apu, yeah, all good words. Chi is very good. We haven't added that. And then Tekoku Empire. You see that in so many games. And then pao apu, just as our general theme, works so well for the game and in Japanese too. Very true, Poro. Let's go and find those parts so we can power up. <laughs> so she says, I'd like, I mean, if we're going to get parts, I'd like to get new parts, not junk parts. So, moshi moshi, that's an interesting way to say hello. Usually that's used for the telephone. Moshi moshi to say hello on the telephone, but he's saying moshi moshi, so hello, is that Torah? So we got another no pawn here. So that kind of means long time no see, haven't heard from you for a while. Mui mui desmo. Mui mui. Mui mui desmo. Do you guys know mui mui desmo? Sometimes uh, I don't know all of these silly, I don't know all these words, especially these no pun words. Let's look up mui mui quickly, because those are fun to learn. Mui mui. Okay, I don't see mui mui in the dictionary. It makes me feel a bit better. <laughs> ah, that's his name. That makes a little more sense. Mui Mui Desmo. So this character's name is Mui Mui. Arigatouzaimasu. Yeah, sometimes it's hard to know if something's a name or not a name, especially in a weird no pun word like this. Uh, is it just me, or does Mui Mui look like a character from some anime? He does. I mean, I mean, this game is kind of like a some anime too, but it's true. It's true. Ah, uh, exploding dragon, blue tatsu. Oh, exploding penguin, rather. <laughs> blue tatsu. Wakaranai. Blue tatsu, are you saying that's a character in an anime that he looks like? By the way, konnichiwa, exploding penguin, good to see you. Exploding penguin is very good navigator in this game. Powerful party member to have around. Yoshi, come on, show. Ah, so, Ochan. You know about me? Tore no koto shiteru? Amo? Ah, Tatsu's from Xenoblade X. Ah, I have not played that. Naruhodo. Okay. Yeah, I want to play that game too. Although I did hear the font is very small, so that might not be so good for Japanese Quest if the font is too small. Ah, you didn't even remember me. Kanashi. I am Mui Mui, Mui Mui Desmo. Ah, uh, so I was the assistant for your grandpa, Senzo, Professor Senzo. I was their assistant. Okamijin, R.I.P. Riki. Why do you say R.I.P. Riki? Riki was the best. Riki Daisuke, that's from the first Xenoblade. So we got a flashback. Sugoi. Yeah, you're very... <laughs> Polarom. Yeah, actually one of our party members yesterday was streaming Pokemon. Um, I think Omniscient was their name. You should check out their stream they did last night. Uh, they were teaching Japanese through Pokemon. And you're right, that word Hakase came up all the time. Although I think it was in Hiragana in that game. Or maybe they used Furigana. Because it seemed like they had a lot of hiragana in the game, but it was really good. Konbanwa! Give me your cats, bro. Genki desu ka? It's good to see you. Genki desu ka? Minna. Genki desu ka? Anyone else who just came in? Genki desu ka? How are you doing today? Good to see you. Sensei wa? Genki desu yo. Ah, so now... Now Tor remembers Mui Mui. Oboi teru mo. It's a nice verb there, so let's highlight it for possible future adding to our power level. I remember. So please say from the beginning. 
And then uh, give me your cast process. Genki, Genki. Hey, Iggy, what's cracking? I like this cat here you have. Looks a little bit like Griffin down here. <laughs> Pomerum. Yosh. Kara. Oh, you found Kara? Oh, no. Did I miss Kara? Where was Kara? Oh, there it is. Yosh. Let's mark it. Good call. Good save, Pomerum. Thank you. Onegaishimasu. Yeah, that's a great find, too. Let's mark it with the uptime. Exclamation point uptime command. And we found Kara. I was totally going to miss that one. It snuck by me. So let's mark it. So here we say, again, Tora is just saying, mo. I remember, and I, I remember you now. So Toro remembers this character over here. Um, and then Tora says, Saisho kara itte kure mo. So saisho means the beginning. So saisho kara, so from the beginning. So please, please tell us who you were from the beginning. So that's a great use of kara, just means from. It's kind of the most basic meaning of kara, from. And we got the uptime, arigazaimasu. So from the beginning, just tell me from the beginning. It's kind of a funny thing to say, because he kind of did say from the beginning. I guess he didn't explain the relationship, but it said his name. So, oboiterimo, I remember you. So why don't you say from the beginning. Saisho kara itte kurimo. Yosh. Excellent. Nice save, Poram. Arigatoimashita. Thank you very much. Let's continue. And again, that's another thing the party members can help me out with. Since I'm reading and thinking about translating a lot, I might forget to find kara, we've now found two. We need to find three more. So if you see kara, men mention it in the chat and we can stop and we can mark it. Because I might miss it. Everyone must join forces to do this. Kind of like in Lord of the Rings, Gandalf can't do it alone if you're looking for treasure or if you're wanting to defeat an orc. Maybe Legolas has to do it. Maybe, you know, Gimli or Pippin even has to do it. Everyone needs to help out. Ishoni, ni so Poram's doing laundry. Ah, sentaku, sentaku shimashita ne. Nice. Igneo's playing Smash Brothers. Ah, oh, you play, sugoi. Very cool. Oh, you use that Iggy nickname for Smash Brothers. And then Igneo says, I'm lounging, being annoyed by my dog, Riki. Oh, your dog is Riki. Kawaii. Nice, nice. Give me your cats, bro. Doing well. Cuddling with my pupper. Ah, inu. So we haven't added that word. I see a couple people have dogs. Do you know the word for dog in Japanese? We have the word cat in our power level. It's neko. But do you know the word for dog? Shitemasu ka? Maybe we can add that to our power level today. Inu. Nice. We got some uh, emotes. Inu. So desu ne. So maybe this word we should add to our power level. I guess we haven't met a dog yet that much in the game. And then there's the kanji for it. Thank you, Poram. So maybe today, or maybe sometime we discover a dog in the game, we can add it. But sometimes we can add words out of chat too. So I did not realize there are so many dog emotes. Let me add the cat emote that I have here of Griffin cat here. There's the Griffin cat emote, Neko emote. Yosh, let's continue. It makes sense the dog character is so close to the character for man. Right, you could say man's best friend in a way. Yoshi Kimasho. So from the beginning, Saisho Kara. Oki inu ga futotta. Interesting sentence, yeah. A lot of similar kanji there. Because the first one, Oki, meaning big. The second one, Inu, with that extra mark on the top right, means dog. And then futotta, if the mark is on the bottom, means fat. Omoshiroi. Weasel is the one for fat as well. Yep, just like in the sentence above. Yeah, great sentence down there in chat if anyone wants to check that out. Ibenkyo ninaru. Weasel is hisashiburi. Konbanwa genki desu ka? Good to see you, Weasel is, as always. Ittemashitamo. <laughs> That's what I thought he'd say. Ittemashitamo. So I already said that. I said my name. Uh, 
すっかり忘れても忘れてた忘れてたも It's kind of a mouthful of a sentence, but we do see a kara there, don't we? So, o c h a n kage ga u s u p e r a i Kara. We see a kara. See how common this is? You see it everywhere. u s u p e r a i kara. s u k a r i w a s r e t a m o So, I think because. Kage ga u s u p e r a i Because he's so forgettable. So, this here means because. So, because he's so kind of forgettable, he completely forgot about him. Ochan kage ga usu perai. Usu perai is not a, something you often see. Usui means like faint, and kage means their shadow is faint. But perai you don't often see.、Um, uh, you're not able to. Not able to sleep. Sensei wa genki desu yo. Ore wa genki desu yo. Hope you get some sleep soon. Weasel is.、Um, so, usu perai. Maybe let's look that up quick.、Um, just for fun. Because you don't see that that much. And maybe it's got a nuance. Usu pe. Let's just put the first part of it in. So, yeah, very thin. Usu perai. So very thin, flimsy, shallow.、Uh, so, kage ga usu perai. Yeah, it just doesn't leave much of an impression. And so, because of that, kara s u k a r i wasurete ta.、Uh, yeah, could we also get an uptime on this? Because we do see kara again here. Ah, konnichiwa. I, ah, すごい Konnichiwa. Nihongo b e n k y o chu. So, this is it. Hi. Nihongo Benkyo Chu. We are all studying Japanese in here. That's what we do every day. Arigatamasu. Thank you for the uptime. Right now, our learning target is kara. So, all throughout this game, we're looking for kara and seeing how it's used. But we're also just translating the game and, and kind of learning from it together. And then, additionally, the other thing we do on Japanese Quest here is we power up. In Japanese, we add to our power level. Any words we find, if they seem worthy, we add, we try to add at least five words a day, get our power level up, and eventually, maybe, it'll even be over 9,000. Who knows? Maybe someday. And by the way, I'm Akira Sensei. Boku wa Akira Sensei desu. Kyoshi desu.、Uh, I'm a Japanese teacher, and we have some other teachers and students in the chat. We're all party members together, leveling up in the game and leveling up in Japanese. That's our goal in Japanese Quest. So if you feel so inclined, feel free to follow. You can join our party, study some Japanese, and、uh, we will level up together. Let's continue with where we were. So, again, the kata we just found here is again just meaning because. So, because he didn't leave much of an impression, sukari wasure ta. So, completely forgot about him. Let's continue. Big part of what we do in Japanese Quest is kind of just play the game and inspire other people to play games in Japanese and maybe learn some、uh, Japanese from games and just a fun way to learn Japanese. So, Ishou ni level up shimashou. So, Weaselist there says the sentence doesn't really make much sense. <laughs> yeah, this is a kind of tricky question if it's the one in the game that you're re referencing. And then. Middle of the studying. Yep, this is a great place to study. The whole goal here is to have fun when studying, to inspire each other, and to kind of like a fellowship in Lord of the Rings, combine our power level to、uh, kind of work together and level up in Japanese. Ishou ni boken shiyo ze, level up shiyo. Okay, Weasless, good. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I didn't totally look at that sentence.、Um, yeah. Doku and Iji. Different kanji with the same reading. Yeah, Okamijin earlier was talking about different kanji that have the same reading. So that's the term for it. Doku and Iji. That's a word that I wouldn't worry about too much.、Uh, but it's referring to kanji that look different but have the same reading. Yosh, ikimashou. Ora, sore wa hidoi yo. Sore wa hidoi yo. 
Tora, that's terrible. Don't tell him he doesn't leave an impression and you forgot about him. Oh. He said, don't worry about it. <laughs> so we see Kara again. Wow, the Kara comes so fast. We're almost done. If we could get another uptime, that'd be great. Because we found Kara again. To gain this language art on this quest, we learn language arts. As we learn these arts, they're basically just different parts of grammar in Japanese. We can unlock new areas of the game and in real life. Uh, as we learn these language arts in the game, if we find them five times, we say we've learned this language art. And we'll move on to the next one tomorrow. So here we found kara again. And again, it has the meaning of because. So Tora-san wa mara osunakatta kara. So because Tora was mara still osunakatta, so still young. So because Tora was still young at the time Tora knew this character. So because he was still young, and the kara then meaning because... Murinai desmo. So, murinai just meaning it's it's to be expected that Tora wouldn't remember. It's to be expected, so it's not a big deal. Yosh. So again, kara meaning because. So because he was young, it's to be expected he wouldn't remember, so it's no big deal. Yosh, ikimashou. <laughs> so then Hana is saying that all Tora is really thinking about is powering up Hana, powering me up. And that's also what we do on Japanese Quest. Power up. Power up. Power up. Power up. So his, his mind is already full of that. So he can't. Doesn't have enough room for this guy. Omoshiro. So that's a nice word that we saw a few days ago for the first time. We haven't added it to our power level yet, but jinko means man-made. So jinko blade just means, so she is a man-made blade, artificial blade. So jinko blade o denai desu kamo. So, whoa, is that a artificial blade? And I see a couple comments there. Yeah, I think the word is... Ah, uh, yeah, is called for this same kanji, different reading. Yeah, and you're talking about driving there. I think I missed some of that conversation, but so you're talking about driving. Messing with the driver's radio is so much more fun than driving. Yeah, I think you have a point there. <laughs> Yosh, let's continue. So, Damo, Jichan to Tochan ga nukoshita sekkezu moto ni. So using the uh, blueprints that was left by my grandpa and my father, I completed I completed this artificial blade, Hana, right here. And the word that you see there is kan, Tora ga kanse sase tanda mo. So kanse meaning completed. So I finished this artificial blade. Tora ga kanse sase tanda mo. Subarashii desu mo. Amazing. So, if the professor, your grandpa, was still alive, he would have been very, very happy. And then, by the way, anyone watching who's just joining, you'll see mo at the end of many sentences. If you ever go to Japan, don't do that. This is only for no pun. In this game, the no pun have a dialect. They always say mo. So, unless you want to sound like a no pun, don't add mo to the end of your sentence like that. So you don't know where my father went? So the day that the uh, research lab was attacked, so, so I went but then when I came back, I found the body of your, of Senzo, Professor Senzo, your grandfather. So I see a couple comments. So I want to keep up with some of those. 
Um, so Ursula's side quest is more fun than driving. Yeah, I've not done that side quest. And then thanks for the catch or add the Mo character if you're a cow. Yeah, but Mo is a, like a loud, for, for a cow, it's not just Mo, it's Mo. It's like a long Mo sound. <laughs> but yeah, I wonder if cows are related no puns distantly because they both do say Mo, but the cow is more of like a long Mo, Mo, like that. So it is, isn't it? Polarom's got it. So, Kiddle. Although, but. So, your father. Haven't seen him anywhere. So, Mui Mui Mo Shira. So, Mui Mui Mo Shira Nai. So, Mo there in the middle means also. So, Mui Mui also doesn't know Shira Nai. And yeah, nice with the animal sounds and there. Weasel it says in Japanese the frog makes the sound ghetto 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 ghetto. <laughs> so it is in it. So gakkari suruna. So suruna meaning don't do that. So don't don't be sad. Um don't be sad, master. Kito Aeruhi ga kimasmo. So the day will surely come when you meet your father again. <laughs> it's kind of a funny thing to say. Uh, this is a nice word, a little tricky word, but really nice one to have to your power level. It makes you sound intelligent. So it just means a basis, a foundation. So I have no foundation for the argument that you will meet your father again, but I'm going to say it anyway. You will meet your father again. Konkyo wa matakunai desmo. So I have absolutely no reason or basis for saying that, but you will meet your father again someday. Good to be hopeful. So Weaselis says, yeah, the frog sound, igneal, it would make sense if animal sounds were universal. So yeah, you would think they're universal. There are similarities, but I guess it goes to show that it's kind of arbitrary how we assign sounds to animals, in a sense. So you guys just got to the town. Uh, sorry, if I stopped you right away. So... Give me your cat's throw. I'm sure animal sounds are universal, but our ears, yeah, true. We're sensitive to different sounds. It's a good way to think of it, I think. Um, I don't get when neg natives use kedo. I know it means but however, but they use it in so weird context. Yeah, it's used a lot, and we'll we'll definitely look at that one day as our learning target. Yeah, interesting, isn't it, Igneal san? Yosh. <laughs> Mm. So, shiriai no yado. This is a good word. We can maybe add it down to our words that we're learning soon. Yado meaning hotel. So, I have a, an acquaintance, shiriai. Shiriai no yado ga arimasmo. So, I see Poram wrote a couple words there. Uh, some good words like machi, yosu, yeah, like the state of the something. And then yado, lodging. Yeah, yado could definitely be a good one to add. And then give me your cat's pro says, my exchange student living with me hears cats differently from me. Oh, wow. Who's your, where's your, where's your exchange student from? Exchange student. Nihongo de wa ryugakusei desu ne. True. Good kappa. Good kappa, Weasleless. Someone reads that, knows who he's talking about. <laughs> Might be good to look at. Yosh. Oh, nice. Check it out. They've got not just a hotel, but a hotel with what? Onsen. Onsen ga arimasu. Onsen ga yume na tokoro de. So a place where onsens are yume. Um, so they're famous for onsens. And then yasuku. We can get a cheap room there. If he helps us out. Nice. Taxikara. Konbanwa. Genki desu ga? Everyone in Japanese Quest, let's give a Toxicora a nice Japanese Quest yokoso. 
Welcome to Japanese Quest. We will continue to level up in the game and level up in Japanese. That's what we do. Let's continue with this conversation here. Mui mui. I yatsumo. So, i meaning good. So, you're a good guy. Mui mui. Yokoso. A lot of yokosos in there. Takakara, you came to the right place. That's what we do here. Our goal is to level up in the game and level up in real life in Japanese. I'm a Japanese teacher, and we are on a quest here in Japanese Quest. We're on a quest in the game, but we're also on a quest into the Japanese language. And as we go on this quest, we build up words, we build up our party, and we build up, hopefully, our, our th enthusiasm and our ability in Japanese. Asugoi! Yokoso! Japanese quest away. So yeah, if you do what Kazumaru just did, you can be a party member as well. And we can level up in Japanese, we can level up in the game, and a big part of what we do is just kind of inspire each other, increase motivation in Japanese, get the hype levels up, and share resources, share knowledge, and if it's just me, I can only do so much. But if we combine all of our power, we are unstoppable. If we have a party, a fellowship, if you will, a fellowship of... Japanese, you could say. We can level up in the game and in Japanese. Nihongo de level up shiyoze. So I like this idea of gaming and language learning. Yeah, it's a, it's kind of experimental. Not sure how well it will work. Just started a couple weeks ago. I'm a, I'm a Japanese teacher actually and thought it'd be fun to try to teach in a different way. To teach in a kind of new way that I haven't seen. Um, so that's the goal here, to kind of try to teach in a way that's fun with video games. And, I don't know, we'll see if it works. Together. We'll level up in the game, we'll level up on Twitch, and hopefully we'll level up with a new format of teaching Japanese as well. Um, Give Me Your Cats Bro says, I'm going to start doing Genki. Yeah, Genki is a very good textbook, I recommend it. Um, and if some other people want to join it and study together with Genki, that's a great way. Uh, we have a Discord, people can talk to each other. It's marked at the top of the uh, the Twitch channel for Japanese Quest. And then Kazumaru89. Nice, you're staying in Shibuya. Nice, that's a really cool part of Tokyo for anyone who's been there. If you haven't been there, I recommend going there. It's a really trendy area for shopping. I'm glad you like the idea, gaming plus language learning. That's what I thought too. It's two of my favorite things, gaming and Japanese and teaching. I thought, Sugoi! Yokoso! New party member, Yatta. You can see that uh, gif there. That's the party members cheering for the new party member. Itabashi. I don't know Itabashi. Itabashi wa doko desu ka? Weasel is where is Itabashi? Hello, new friend. Yokoso. Everyone, welcome to Japanese Quest. If there's anyone else, feel free to join the party. We can get a party member train going. <laughs> That'd be nice. It looks like we found Yaroya. So we found the inn here. Yaroya. Sometimes it's just Yaro. Sometimes it's Yaroya. Yokoso. Japanese quest away. Yokoso. Jarukamaro. Eh. So I guess it's called Jarukamaro. <laughs> so there's a lot of crazy katakana words in this game and in games like this in general. So welcome to this inn. And Weaselis says, Ah, Ibaraki no chikai. Ah, so on this guy. So that's also in Tokyo then, this ne. Sugoi. Um, Torasama, go ikko de gozaimasu ka. So you're the party with Torasama. So we talked earlier about honorifics. So this sama we mentioned, Torasama. It's a very respectful way to talk about Tora. So Torasama. So because they're in the service industry, they might want to be respectful. So Tora-sama. Earlier people were asking about Kun and Chan. Kun is used for boys. Chan is used for girls. And it's more informal. But Sama is very formal. Ikebukuro. Yeah, I knew that too. Yeah, looking at Ikebukuro, I just... Yeah, <laughs> kind of said the wrong thing. 
面白い。漢字 are fun. Yeah, I will say that names and place names can be pretty tricky in kanji, though, so it's easy to <laughs> misread them, so I feel fine about that. What we say here in Japanese Quest making mistakes is fine. It's good, actually. Because you make a mistake, you can learn from that mistake. You can. That's a time to level up when you make a mistake, so it's good if, to be just learning.、Um, I'm a Japanese teacher. I have passed N1, so I have a lot of knowledge in Japanese, but I'll still make mistakes on the Japanese Quest, and that's fine. It's good. We can all learn from that. And I'll level up too. Ishoni, level up しましょう I saw a word in that sentence. Oh, you saw a kara? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. So, this is what we need the party for. Thank you so much for the comment. I was totally going to miss it. Yokoso.、Uh, did we see another new comment from someone? So, we saw Yokoso. If we could get into uptime, that'd be awesome.、Uh, because we found kara. So, our learning target today is kara. So, throughout the game, we're collecting this language art, we call it. When we gain a new language art, we can unlock new areas in real life. So, maybe if you're in Ikebukuro, a new restaurant you find, maybe you need that particle, kara, to figure out how to get there. And so, let's analyze what happened here. This is the fourth one we found today. We can add this to our power level. If we get one more, if we have five, we'll learn the language art. And there's a list of all these on the Twitch if you want to check. Or on the, yeah, on the Twitch. So, Mui Mui Sama Kara. So, here again, it just means from. So, I heard from Mui Mui. So, Mui Mui Sama Kara. Ukagate Orimas. So, I heard from Mui Mui. And this is all in Keigo, polite speech. So, Mui Mui Sama, Sama, very polite. And then Ukagate Orimas means a very polite way of I heard from Mui Mui Sama. And then kara here, just meaning from. So I heard from Mui Mui Sama that you're going to come here. Yosh. Thanks for marking that igneo with the time. We just need to find one more. And Weasel is says, Itabashi wa Tokyo no kita desu. Ah, so where you live, Itabashi is in the north of Tokyo. Koko kara Shinjuku made Nijupun shika kakemasen. So it only takes 20 minutes to get to Shinjuku. Ah, n a r a h o r o Mecha Beni. So, very. Yeah, if anyone saw Mecha there, Mecha is kind of a. It's kind of a, a casual way to say, like, very. Like, Totemo Beni. Mecha Beni. It's a very, very convenient place. いいですよね Portugas! こんばんは元気ですか Good to see you again. Let us continue. We need to find one more Kara. So, help, let's help out to find that. That's our target. Honjitsu wa tokubetsu ryokin de go shukahaku de kiryo junbi shite orimas. So we got a special price from our friend to stay here. Nice. So only 100 gold. It's still not that cheap. And then we might as well stay here. Shukahaku suru. Yosh. Toryo jiman no rotenburo. でごゆ、uh, ごゆゆるりとおくつろぎください。So please take a rest and relax at our outdoor bath. すごい、nice, very nice. こんにちは、ポルガス。Oh, nice, here we go. So we've got the,、uh, the obligatory onsen scene. I believe we're in the anime category today, so if anyone's from anime, You'll notice that in a lot of、uh, anime, you'll have an onsen scene eventually. We have reached the onsen scene in Xenoblade. Kimashita! <sighs> so, this is paradise. This is the life. That's true. All the tiredness from our journey just flies away. So, is it really okay for you to enter the,、uh, the onsen? Won't you rust? The beach episode. Yeah, they do have beach episodes. <laughs> Let's try not to call each other Baka, though. Baka is kind of not a nice thing to say to people. But I know it's said in, in jest, so daijobu, daijobu. 
サビちゃんじゃない大丈夫ですもん花は特殊合金製サビ知らずオイルいらずですもん、uh, So I don't rust and I don't have oil I'm a special I'm a special type special metal alloy すごいトラって案外すごいんだね。そう、トラは、surprisingly、すごい。pretty amazing。ご主人は最高の人工ブレード技師ですもん。そう、he is the best。the best there is。at、uh,。artificial blade engineers <laughs>。yeah it is a silly word it's fine it's fine。but、uh,。you probably don't want to say it。to japanese people so i'm just。want to put that out there。大丈夫です。気にしないで。don't worry about it。よし。Yeah, Weaselist. What Weaselist says down there, learn daijobu. That's very true. I actually didn't really know it until I lived in Japan. But in Japan, the word daijobu is used all the time, just meaning I'm okay. Are you okay? Daijobu, daijobu, daijobu desu ka? All the time. And also the one that、uh, gave me your cat's purse said, sumimasen. Those two words, with those two words alone, you can maybe live in Japan for a while with just. 大丈夫、すみません。あ、大丈夫、すみません。すみません、大丈夫。あ,あ、ほむら。先に入らせてもらってるよ。So we got in before you. She's calling to ほむら。But。けど。will it be ほむら。で、光。it is not ほむら。ほむら。じゃない。so igneal says the only person i've ever heard say バカ。was a friend that nicknamed me バカ。Yeah, it just kind of means fool. It can be kind of just a, a silly thing to say to friends. It's, it can be like a teasing word, but it's generally not a super nice thing to say to someone, so probably don't want to throw it around with any Japanese people you know. Konnichiwa, Blade san. You came in at the good time, the onsen scene. Genki desu ka? How are you doing, Blade? Good to see you. For those of you who don't know, Blade is a very powerful. Party member in this group. They have a high power level in Japanese, Chinese, English. Got a lot of powerful blades. Konbanwa. Yes, he did. <laughs> so it is. And now let's see what happens. Nande? 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 Dame kashira. Dame kashira. So is it bad that I'm. In my Hikari form. For anyone who doesn't know the, know the game, this is a character who changes forms. She's got the blonde form and the red haired form. This is the blonde form, Hikari. She's super powerful and kind of. We don't know her that well yet. Yeah, dame ja nai kido. Dame ja nai kido. So it's not bad. Dame meaning bad. Dame ja nai kido. It's not bad, but. Nice body. Nice body. So I'm curious how they translated things like this in English. I don't remember exactly what they said, but in Japanese they say in katakana, nice body. And it means what it says nice body. Ah, so. So, if there's going to be an onsen, Hikari definitely wanted to enter it. And I think we found Kara. So,、uh, some people in the comments are saying, nice bod in English.、Uh, so, they didn't change it too much. Interesting. Nice bod. Or nice、uh, body. Omoshiroi. So, plot twist. In the English, they say, Kara ra ga i. Omoshiroi. And the robo in the background. <laughs> And、uh, we did find Kara. This is the last Kara we found. If we can get an uptime command, that'd be awesome. We already found all of our targets. It only took about an hour. So we found Kara, our learning target for today. So, Zetai ni haritai te yu Kara. So, again, it means because. So, most of the ones we found today actually were not from, they were meaning because. So, because Hikari said, I definitely want to enter the onsen. So, because of that, so zetta ni haritai te iu kara. Because of that, I was in Hikari's form. 
So yeah, I said that there was an onsen. Hikari chan zeta ni haritai te yukara. She definitely wants to go to it. So again, meaning because. So because um, Hikari said she definitely wants to go into the onsen at least once. Yosh. Very nice. We found all of our learning targets now, but we can still look for that kata throughout the day. But we now have enough at least for our chart. Um, for anyone who's just joining, we can show you what we're talking about. Let's go to our browser cam really quick. We have all of our language arts here. Nice, we have a walrus here, <laughs> you can see too. Who is that walrus? Oh, Furugura. Yokoso. Japanese Quest away. Welcome to Japanese Quest. So these are all of our language arts that we've learned so far. We start with the most common ones. All of these, I did Google searches to see which had the most hits on Google. Uh, so we already did the top 10. Today we're on kara. So now that we've found enough, we can bold it, meaning we've learned this new language art. So let's bold it here. And then later, we can mark down all the different places in the episode we found it. So we can later make a textbook with language arts. So now that we have these language arts learned, we can unlock new areas in real life with Japanese. It's kind of like the hook shot. In Zelda, you get a hook shot, you can go to a new area. You get new grammar in Japanese, you can go to a new area in Japan, or maybe in a game. And I like that we have a walrus in our party as well. Uh, so let's go back to the game. Yeah, everyone down there for uh, Furugura, Yokoso, Japanese Quest away. Welcome to Japanese Quest. Ishou ni level up shio. Nihongo de, eigo de, game de, iro no imi de, level up shio ze. Ishou ni gamarimashou. So yeah, on Japanese Quest, we level up in Japanese, we level up in English, and ooh, nice. We got great ape, Greg. Welcome. Can you use zettai also as an adverb to emphasize adjectives? Um. Zettai. That's a good question. Uh, zettai. I don't think so. I don't think so. But that's just my gut answer. I'm not totally sure on that. We've got the gold ape. Great ape. Konnichiwa. Konbanwa. Everyone for a uh, furugura. Let's give them a nice yokoso. Japanese quest away. Welcome to Japanese quest. Always good to have a new party member. Oh, nice. You finished Subnautica on hardcore. Yatta. Dekimashita. Omedito gozaimasu. Congratulations. So we're at, you came in in a good scene here. Let's continue the scene. Ah, so de. De, just meaning, so because of that, I came in here because I wanted to go into the onsen. Isugashine, so you're busy. <laughs> I see a comment from Great Ape. Good scene. <laughs> I'm still I still need to buy the Evil on Subnautica. I'm not sure what that means. But yeah, Subnautica seems like a cool game. By the way, Great Ape Greg is a streamer as well, was streaming Subnautica. So check it out if you want to. Very cool game. A lot of swimming underwater. Yosh. Ine Omsen. So, soro soro means sooner or later. Let's should probably get out of here. Probably getting hot. Anata. So, Nia, you. So, something's interesting with Nia. We don't know what. So, Anata. Saying, so something. She sees something. Ma. So, so you koto. So, yeah, that's about it. So, she's saying that's how it is. Hanasanai hoga i. So, this is a nice phrase. So, let's take a look at it for a second. Hanasanai. Hanasu means to talk. When you say hanasanai, it means to not talk. And then hoga i means so probably better to not talk. So, not to, what she means is so it's probably better to not tell the others about this. Hanasanai hogai. So Hikari here is just saying, so you have a secret, 
and I probably shouldn't tell the others about it. Hanasanai ho ga i. Then again, i, for anyone just joining, means good. It's a really good word to know in Japanese. We should probably add it to our power level, the words we're learning. Hanasanai ho ga i. So probably better to, uh, to not tell the others about your secret. Still not sure what that secret is, and I don't want to spoiler anyone. I did play this in English, so I know, but let's continue. See a couple comments. So Blade gives a wink. <laughs> I thought saying anatta instead of the person's name was addressing them uh, was rude. No, not always. Not always. Um, but it's true. Saying the name is often common. Give me your cats, bro. Subnautica, it's a game with a lot of swimming, and it just came out um, in its full release. It's a cool game. And then Weaselist. Now, it depends entirely on your context. Yeah, what Weasley says, um, addressing your superior with a nata is a no-go. True, but for friends, you can, you can definitely do it. Yosh, Suzuki Yeah, so imawa. So for now, I'd be, I'd be helpful if you did that, if you don't tell my secret. Wakatta. understood. I won't tell anyone. Sorry. It's kind of interesting how you can say warui in that context. Warui means bad. But if you there say warui ne, it just means. Sorry about that. And then give me your cats, bro. Is it good to assume everyone is your superior if you want to make friends? <laughs> uh. I don't know if I'd say that exactly. I always see everyone as equal. Yeah, I'd say at least on Japanese Quest, I think it's good if everyone sees everyone as equal. Mina wa onaji desu ne. Byodou desu ne. Equal. The first time you meet someone, you use the moss form. Seems like good advice. So that was really nice hot water. <laughs> so this is a word we did add to our power level. Ureshi means happy. But if you say so, if you add so to it, ureshi so means you seem happy. Ureshi so desu mo. And then again, mo, don't add that. That's just the uh, no pon particle. She speaks like a no pon. So a couple more comments. So yeah, use mas if you want to be polite when you meet people. Probably good advice. And then, but since I'm rude, I'm a rude gaijin. I often use the informal uru verbs, at least for people my age. I think for young people and when you're just learning and when you're with friends, I think that's fine. That's when I did. When I was in Japan, I mostly did that too, I think. Daijoubu da tomo. Oh, nice. So, gohyakunen buri no onsen. So, it's my first onsen in 500 years. I've got to fully enjoy it. So, are you going to always stay changed? Oh, there she changed. Oh, it, itsudemo. So, yeah, can you... Can you change any time is what she said. And then, kiyoku wa kyouyu shiteru kara. Uh, so we see the kara again. We don't need to really mark it because we already did find five, but kiyoku means memory. And then kyouyu means share. So we share our memories. Kyouyu shiteru kara. So because we share our memories, dochira de ittemo, so no matter who we are, there's nothing inconvenient about it. We can always change back and forth. It's convenient, interesting. And then, yeah, same as what I just said. So it's very convenient. That's a good word, we should maybe add that. Weaselis in the chat over there used that word before saying, uh, what did you say? Mecha? <laughs> Benli? Like really, really convenient. なに。なにあるの今の音何今の音、そう、音、サウンド。わかりません。何やら事件のようです。事件のようです。そう、some kind of incident. Something's going down. 
So, Kinnan now. So this bothers me. Let's go and check. Itemio. Oh. Mondai. Uh What is modane? Uh do you mean like mondai dane? I'm not totally sure what you're referring to, but uh yeah, it could mean mondai, meaning problem. Ah, nani? Nani, what? Hikari dana. Hikari, so she's. Ano no ga ii? Uh, so ano ko no ga ii? So it would be better to switch back to Pyra. Ni so it doesn't really matter. So. Ikimasho. Ne. So I have a suggestion. What's that? Ah, so it's okay if I use Hikari as my main for a little bit. So finally it sounds like we'll get to use Hikari in battle. Nice. Yatta. So a couple comments. Um Give Me Your Cats Bro says Yeah, makes me think of cheese. Alright. Uh uh Benli Monane. So yeah, it's just using mon, like mono. So it's kind of saying, like, oh, that is um, very convenient. You can use, you can say mon, like after a noun like that, to kind of just mean like, so that's something that's very convenient. So it's like mon, like short for mono, I believe. And then I pictured the moon as a huge cheese wheel. <laughs> So she's saying, you mean you're going to stay as Hikari? So yeah, it's better if you get used to my powers in this form. I had a talk. I had, I had a... Kind of sodan kind of means like a heart-to-heart -heart talk. Sodan shita. So I had a heart-to-heart -heart talk. Had a consultation with uh, Hikari. So let's break this down because it's kind of important. So Hikari Chan. So we talked about Chan earlier. So we can use Chan for girls. So Hikari Chan no Chikara wa Kyoryoku. So her power, Chikara, is very powerful. Kyoryoku, so super powerful. Dakedo, but Hantai ni um, Okunai ya Dokutsu ja. But it's difficult to use inside and in like caves, dokutsu. Maybe we should add that word dokutsu because we saw that yesterday and today. Cave's a good word for role playing games like this. So it's good to be able to adapt to lots of different situations. Mochiron, I completely agree. I want to know you better too. Like, what are you saying that all of a sudden? So I think she's a little embarrassed by that, that he wants to get to know her better. Maybe it has a bit of a romantic implication to it. So, kihon tekini. So, this is good to know about how these characters work. So, they switch bodies, but kihon tekini wa onaji. So, they are fundamentally the same. So, they're basically the same. Kihon tekini wa kihon is a good word. So, like they're basically that word means basically they are kihon tekini onaji. And we just learned this word onaji, same. So, we're basically the same. So if you know her, you know me, in other words. I see. But he's kind of like, really? Because they seem kind of different. Uh, so he's saying like, so are you the same? Because you kind of seem a bit more strict. Well, that's because I have that personality. There's, there's no way around it. Shogunai. <laughs> yeah, exactly what I was saying. Like, what you just did. You're different. 
that are knowing you. So we just add that word yesterday, warao, to laugh. So why are you why are you smiling? Why are you laughing? Yeah, so now I was thinking it's fun, so I, after meeting you, can do a lot of different things. So I see a comment there. Give me your cat's pro. I wish I had two bodies, twice the free fruit food samples from Costco. So desu yo ne, watashi mo. I also wish that, uh, yeah, kind of like Goku, I wish I could go Super Saiyan and, you know, get power up, fly around. If you ever need it, it'd be useful. And then Weaselist also says, Itakoto ga aru. So, Nagano. Oh, you the city Nagano? No, I've not gone to Nagano. Um, Yuki no saru o miru tame ni. Ah, it's to see like the snow monkeys. Yeah, that sounds really, really fun. Keiken haken. Ah, you found experience? Nice. Yeah, that sounds really, really cool. Anyone who can go to Snow Monkeys in Nagano, I recommend it, and I want to do that. So that's what Weaselist recommends. Itakoto aru. Itakoto aru. When did you go to there? Ninemai. Ninemai? Two years ago. Ah, two years ago. Nice. By the way, on the microphone, if you can hear that, that is uh, Kuri-sensei. Sometimes Kuri-sensei stops by to say hello. <laughs> Kuri-sensei also has a po high power level in Japanese. She passed N3, so quite a high power level, and she has seen the snow bunkies, Weaselis. In the summer, though. In the summer? <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, so go ahead. Very cool. How were the snow monkeys? Super cute, but they steal your food if you have any. Ah, uh, they steal your food? Uh, <laughs> They're so very cute, though. Naruto. And they still had hot springs. They, they still have... enjoyed the hot springs in July. Ah, uh, they have... So they like the hot springs even in July. Mm. Okay, so let's continue. And so now I met you, meaning Hikari. So it wasn't all fun. So why do you want to get... So Naze, why? Why do you want to get to know me better? Okay, that's kind of a tricky sentence, but Tsurai koto means difficult experiences will become basically the food for tomorrow. So... If you have hardships now, you can learn from that later. It's a good message for Japanese quest too. Anything that's hard in the language now, you can use that as fuel for leveling up tomorrow. So Mai nanda. So Mai Muki. I actually saw Podom use that phrase a couple days ago, but I think that I missed seeing it. But my muki just means it's a very forward way of thinking. It's a very optimistic way of thinking. And that's what we do in the game with Rex. That's what we do on Japanese Quest as well. My muki ni susumimasu. We will keep continuing, moving forward. Ippo, ippo, susumimasu. We'll keep moving forward, leveling up in the language, leveling up in Japanese. So I guess you could say that his heart is feeling hikari. <laughs> yeah, he's got light in his heart. <laughs> yeah, forward facing, being positive, very true. Very good attitude to have when learning a language. So even if you make mistakes, and you will, of course, it's good to make mistakes, you keep moving forward. <laughs> Sometimes Ji-chan, in his back, you can see Ji-chan there, would get mad at him for only looking forward, maybe not always thinking about it. Shoot. <laughs> yeah, because it must be some mistake, he says. Eh, over there? Looks like it. Ikimashou. So, now we're going to learn how to use Hikari. We'll skip some of these but basically it said she can only use her level 4 attack if she is not inside I believe but now we're learning how to use this uh, blade here Hikari let's see if we can find where to go Ikimashou eh? these guys again we will not forget you
<laughs> so he said he'll quiet us down. So this part made me annoyed because I wanted to have Pyra out of the game. Didn't allow use of Pyra. Ah, for this part. I'm not totally sure what you mean with that, Igneo. Let's see if we can charge something up. Ganbarimasu! I think we can take this guy. So I heard some people were sad. They took away some of the memes that these soldiers had with their voice. Any opinions on that in the chat? Did anyone notice that in the game? Or hear about it? So I think they used to say some crazy stuff like all the time like like don't forget me and like you're done in the English. I didn't play the English but that's what I heard. But I guess they took some of that out of the game now with the update. Pyra is cool, sure, but can Pyra do an Evangelion pile driver? Good point, good point. And then Igneo, when I was at this point of the game, I still found Pyra to be more useful than Hikari. Uh, so, so this your name. I mostly use Pyra at this point of the game too. I won't forget the memes. Yeah, I heard a lot of people saying that. I won't forget you. Okay, is this the right way? Gamorimas. Should use one of those pouch items on these guys. So we can charge our arts faster. Gamorimas. Looks like we'll be alright. Let's get some of these crystals. Maybe we can get some rare blades. Eventually, I did realize the power, power of Hikari. Yeah, it's the same for me. I didn't realize how powerful and how fast Hikari was. I guess it makes sense. She used a legendary blade, and she, her name is Hikari. She's got to be fast. Hikari wa hayai desu yone. We definitely need that cancel, though. Oh man, that guy died so fast, I couldn't even do my combo on him. Hayakatta. Can we open this? I don't think we can, probably. Oh no, we can't. Dekinite. Do we need to go in there? Eh, how do we get through there? Or do we just go down here? Maybe down here? Oh no, it is up. Eh. Doko? Doko doko. Do we need more super strength to even get where we're supposed to go? Because that would not be cool. Here, let's look at our blades here. Ah, we can use this one, and he has super strength, so maybe we can open that. Um. So this is the new blade. Should we put it on Rex, do you think? I forget his name. He said, like, Monster Blade. Uh, any opinions from the party members? Should we put this one on Rex? This special blade? Uh, as you're voting on that, I'm going to do a Rare Blade with Nia. But which... That attack blade, that kind of monster blade we got, finally we can use. Who should we put it on? Should we put it on Rex, do you think? Dosuru. Any advice? Never on Rex. Really? Because he is the attacker, though, so I put it on Rex my other game. <laughs> no Rex. Nia? Okay. Insanorific. Leave it for the last one. Nia? Okay. 
<laughs> yeah, I think we'll put it on Neo because we got a few opinions about that. Last party member. Leave it for the last one. Insanorific. Not sure if we've seen you here, Insanorific, so if not, Yokoso. Japanese Quest away. Welcome to Japanese Quest. Anyone else in the chat? Let's give a konnichiwa, a hello to uh, Insanorific. Welcome. Feel free to follow if you haven't yet. You can become a party member as well. And yeah, we can level up in the game, giving each other advice. Also, our goal here is to level up in Japanese. So welcome. Yokoso. Japanese Quest away. So I'll take the advice and let's give this blade to Nia. Yeah, lurkers are awesome. We like to think of our lurkers here on Japanese Quest not as lurkers, but rangers. They're always ranging around in the distance, scouting out, finding monsters. They can swoop in at any moment to save us in an important time like this, like now. So, any lurkers out there, you have leveled up to ranger class. You are now rangers. So, feel free. You can swoop in at any moment or not. Rangers are cool like that. They wander around and they do awesome things. I'm a ranger. I've been I was a ranger on Twitch for a long time. Yo sh and then what do we do here? Yes, we want to resonate. Konnichiwa. Genki desu ka? Here we go. Sugoi. This guy's a beast. Uh, so I see a comment. Well, I'm bumbling around like a drunk Gimli. The lurkers are like elves. Yeah. Ranger, wa kakui desu yo. The rangers are cool. They're very cool. And then... <laughs> yep. Very welcome. Very true, Pomram. And Igniel says, the new ranger class character in D&D. &D. <laughs> yeah, to me, rangers are like the coolest. So I like to think of lurkers as rangers. And then eventually, maybe you meet that ranger in a bar, and they turn out being like the king, right? Like Aragorn, being this mysterious ranger at the corner of the bar. That's what lurkers are like on Twitch to me. At any moment, they might arrive and be the king and be this new party member. But rangers are cool, just as rangers, too. And they are, they're kind of always rangers, too. Tsuyoi. <laughs> <laughs> so he's bringing the chikara up, bringing the power. So again, he talks, he referred to his chikara twice. So again, my power, use my chikara, use my power. Yes, one kanji to rule them all, and in the darkness bind them. Very true. But remember, Aragorn started out as Strider. Strider was a ranger. Strider! Strider mo kakui desu yo. Strider was also very cool. Sugoi. Tsuyosou. Yatta. Let's check the abilities. We do have super strength. Kairiki there at the top. Now Ni has a blade that's twice her side. Twice her size. She can say that's her blade. That this blade is her bodyguard. So this you net. Let's set it. Yosh. Chikara. Suge, yeah, Sugo Chikara. High power level. Now do we need to go through here? We Probably do. Let's look at the map. Seems like we probably do. Hopefully now we have the super strength to do it. Let's try. Yatemiru. If you ever want to say yatemiru, it means just to try something out. That's kind of my advice in life. Iro iro yatemiru. Just try a lot of different things. Then cool things start to happen. So, yatemiru. Let's try something out. Yatta dekimashita.
えー、何誰あれえ強い硬いですねバカな当たっているはずなのに<笑>バカな It's ridiculous They must have hit the bullets ブレイドなのかいや、yeah. Is it a blade? Yeah, 違う。We just learned that word yesterday. 違う means different. No, it's something else. Those guards look すごすごい。そうですよね。違う。えぇ、ー、強い。そして速い。え強い。ああ、そう、it's a machine. So, what's our new blade's name? I've always known Wolfric. Didn't catch his name in Japanese. Good question. I'll check it in a minute. I'm not totally sure of his name in Japanese. We'll check Wolfric's name. Ira no Renchu. Ira no Renchu. So, it's, is there, are they part of the Ira group? But he says Janai. So, it is not. They're not from Ira. Not this time. Janai! Mo? What? Eh? Kiku! Kiku! So her name's Kiku. I guess Tora sensei knows Kiku. So Lenshu, yeah, another good word. So many good words. Yeah, that's the cool thing about these games. The good words really don't stop. If you keep playing, you'll pretty much see all the words you need to know in the language. That's the whole philosophy of why it might work to teach Japanese through games. If you keep going, You can build the whole language, and that's what we're doing.、Uh, Lenshu. Yeah, it just kind of means like these guys, this group. Kayu. Yeah, another good word. Kayu. Porridge. The dictionary says like rice gruel or thin rice porridge. <laughs> Matsumo, wait! Mate yo, Tora! Eh, Dare, Dare, Dare. Who is that? Anna Tokoroni. So over there in that place. Eh, Mina, it's o i d e it's o i d e Oika Kerumo. Everyone, let's follow. Let's chase. Chase the android. Ikimasho. Okay, so we got 54 steps. Might have some more soldiers to fight along the way.、Um, hmm. No, maybe on the roof here. Uh oh. We're getting shot in the back. Maybe not good. Maybe it doesn't matter. Can we get through this? I don't know. Can we get through this? Will I die? Should I try? I want confirmation. Try the steam or no.、Um, let's look at the map again. Oh, we can't look at the map because we're being targeted. Should I run through the steam? That is the question. It'll kill you, no. Thank you. Arigodaimasu. <laughs> Tasukatta. We are saved by Igneo sound advice. I tend to just be like Rex and just go for it and then die. It can be fun, but it can be hazardous to your health. Haha. <laughs> ah, you learned that the hard way. Tachimashita. Okay, let's see if we can find the route then. Alright, it does look like it's behind that. Perhaps we can go around the other way? I really just want to jump through it, but I know I'll probably die, so. Moody, take your night.
Here we go. Barubu. So it's a Barubu. Oh! Steam puzzle. So does it. Don't you love steam puzzles? Yeah, it does seem to help a lot to have Hikari in these fires. We're taking these guys down quickly. Barubu. Valve. It's interesting how Valve is pronounced Barubu. Doesn't really sound like Valve that much to me. Yatta. Ah, Takarabako. Get to. Yatta. Okay, so she did go. Go back around, I guess. Unite combo. Yeah, maybe so. Igneal. Now we can get past. Ikimasho. Matte Oshimo. Wait, please wait. Sugoi. Tonda. What a jump. So if they can't hear us, all we gotta do, we just gotta keep chasing them. Oh no. I was just about to add some pouch items right before we got attacked. Keep forgetting to do that. Gambarimas. So speaking of dog, we talked about Inu today. So we have a dog. Maybe we could add Inu. <laughs> This guy's a lot stronger because he's level 28. Lezu Daraiba. Oh, because this is a driver, huh? Higher power level than the guy before. Whoa, that guy flew. Okay. Where are we going now? Okay, let's add those pouch items before I forget again. Give me your cats. I've got stuff to do. Might not be able to make it the next stream, but I'll try. Daijou desu. Ganbarimasu. Ja! Mata ne. So, Ari, if you're leaving, then oyasuminasai. Give me your cats pro. By the way, Give Me Your Cats Pro started a, a Discord for us. So, if anyone wants to check the Discord, it's marked at the top of the Twitch. To a place where we can chat even off off of stream. So feel feel free to chat there. Um, you can put resources there, any clips you take of games in Japanese or of this channel. Um, so Oyasuminasai, good evening or good night and see you later. Kore kara mo And then Igniel says Kayu. Yeah, it is a good word to add. We should add that at some point. Kayu. I agree, we've talked about it so much, I don't know why it keeps coming up, but that word for porridge. Matane, cat son. Let's add some pouch items here. Oh wait, we still have six minutes. Oh, because we they keep recycling, don't they? All right. No wonder these battles are going so fast. All right, this way I think. Ikimasho. Eh, eh, eh. 
What? Where is this guy? Doko, doko, doko. This place is kind of a crazy place to fight. Match up with you now, Got kind of nuts. Let's make sure we use a combo here. At some point. Ganbarimasu. Sugoi is a lot of guys. Where is this other guy? Doko doko. Ah, here we go. Interesting. So now Mia has rock as well. Can make some interesting combos. So now we can do rock, fire, rock. Could be nice. So Igneal says, I remember when my game kept cycling through fruit parfaits. Yeah, they keep eating them, right? They don't stop. It's interesting. Oh, we got another one, too. We gotta fight the dog here, too. Ganbarimasu. So yeah, another thing we do in chat, for anyone there, feel free to mention any words that we've been talking about today or that we've seen in-game. Maybe after this battle or a little later we can add those to our power level. One thing we do in Japanese Quest is we increase our power level, you can see in the bottom right. And the way we do that is we suggest words and we can kind of add new words on each day of our journey. Increase our power level, maybe someday it'll be... It's over 9,000! That dog, for some reason, looks like the one-headed Cerberus. He does look a little bit Cerberus-like. Let's do a combo here, get some experience. Extra experience, bonus. Yatta. I probably should have used the other guy, huh? Yep, that. Get some bonus. Nice experience. One more. Hato Itori. Blades and drivers have a black void for their stomachs. It seems like it. They can just eat desserts non-stop. It's interesting how they do that. I suppose it's useful, but it's kind of strange it's automatic. I feel like more things in this game should maybe be controllable like that, like you can choose. I'd also like if they had like a gambit system similar to Final Fantasy XII, so you could more control what your other party members do. That would be kind of cool, I think. So I'd like if we could do the combos better. If you could program in gambits like that. That would be nice. Matsumo! Wait! Then Igneal down there said, especially no pawn, they'll just eat yeah, they can always Keep eating. Let me guess, she jumps away again. Yep. Hi, hi. She's like a ninja. Ninja, ninja no yoru desu ne. Go shujin, master. Mina, zetta ni nogashicha dame. So we definitely cannot let her get away. Hana mo zen no kure oikakeru mo. So Hana will also, with all of her strength, chase after her. Yosh. Ikimashou. Again, we got 90 steps to go. Looks like we have to go down now. Let's try that. Down again. 
That looks right. We're at the right elevation at least. Looks like straight ahead. Ninja maid, so this one. Nice. Yeah, she's a ninja maid. Nice combo. Oh, where is that guy going? I don't want to go over there. Whatever. Nigiro. We made it. <laughs> Inai. She's not here. Doko ni ita. Where did she go? I see a nice question though from Weaselist. Let's look at that. Ichiban suki na nihongo no sakka wa dare desu ka? So who is your favorite Japanese author? It's a good question. I haven't read that many books or that many Japanese authors. So the most I've read is the most popular abroad. So I feel like it's maybe not a full picture of what a good answer would be. But Murakami Haruki, I've read a number of his books in English and Japanese. Um, in Japanese and English, I read Hard Boiled Wonderland and The End of the World and uh, Kefka on the Shore. I enjoyed both in English and Japanese. And they're pretty easy to read in Japanese as well, at least for compared to some other books. So I recommend reading Haruki Murakami, kind of magical realism in both languages. Then Igneo says, anime and Japanese games always have the best maids. So does it. Yeah, very much so. It's a big theme often. And also they have the maid cafes, if you ever go to Japan. So do you know that? Person. Ah, interesting. So Hanani. So comparing to Hana, Hanani, Funiki ga niteta. So the kind of feeling, the Funiki of the character was similar to Hana. I want to go to Japan's cat cafes. Yeah, I do too. Actually, when I was in Japan last summer, I did not go to a cat cafe, but I went to an owl cafe in Tokyo in Akihabara. And it was cool, so I recommend Owl Cafe too. But I still haven't been to a cat cafe yet. I'd like to go. I definitely will go to one. Neko Cafe, isn't it? Ah, so their name is Kiku. Kiku? Kiku. So his father and grandfather. It's a blade, an artificial blade that they created. So there's no mistaking it. Okay, so it seems like she's above the uh, ether reactor close by. So as expected. So, ether furnace or reactor confirmed. And then, onto their strategy, I think. Ooh, we have a battle. Ganbarimasu! They seem strong. Dakara, ganbarimasu! Ah, tsuyoi. They got a high level. Ooh, Rex is getting wrecked. Let's see if I can get some aggro on someone else. I actually also read a lot of Murakami's books. I would love to try to read them in Japanese, but my kanji aren't there yet. Yeah, I recommend for a first try. Um. The first two books I read in Japanese were Murakami books, actually. I've read over a hundred books now. Most of them I'm on my Kindle. It helps a lot to read electronically, so you have a dictionary. But the first two books I read were paper Murakami books, and that worked too. You just have to skip some words you don't know, or kanji you don't know. It's still like, I really enjoyed them. But it got a lot easier by the second and third book. I see a couple comments, but I have to kind of focus on not dying at the moment. I think I will use her light just since it's a lot of damage. And I want to see her level 4. Ooh, 
Well, not that much damage. Oh well. Poor Rom. I've only been reading light novels. It's hard to jump into novels proper. Uh, in my opinion, light novels aren't that different from regular novels. Especially Murakami. Murakami's not that diff diff harder than light novels. Some novels and like older novels are harder, but... Light novels, to me, are kind of just... Like novels, but just kind of a... Uh, with more like anime type themes. Just more fun reading. Oh no, Tor is getting wrecked. This is bad. Must heal. Must heal. Must keep doing anchor shot. This is a difficult battle. Yeah. It's difficult for us, we're kind of low level compared to her. My current strategy is to stay alive. I'm not getting good combos though, I need to get some combos going. So we can do a good combo on her. So far I've failed to do that. I'll try to get some balls, elemental balls on her. Oh nice, Poram, or Weaselis, I didn't see that, you're going to a cat cafe, you said in Japanese. Omoshiro Salt, that sounds really cool. And then Wadcaster said, um... <laughs> yeah, if you go under a Kotatsu, that's really, really nice. Yeah, what V... what V can... what, uh, Vcaster set up there is Kotatsu. It's like the kind of table, a short table where you can kind of, uh, warm yourself under it. If you ever have a chance to go under one of those, I really recommend it. Let's see. So, Weasel is, I heard Miyokami gets criticized by some Japanese because his writing style is very Western influenced. I've heard that too. But he's also loved by Japanese authors too. He's huge in Japan too. So, anyone who's that popular will get huge criticism too. I mean, it's true of anything. Like, if you even think about like Japanese Quest's channel. Like, if this channel became. Like, let's say this channel became really, really big, theoretically. There'd be a lot of critics of it then. Right now, there's no critics of this channel, really, because it just started, like, a couple weeks ago. But if you imagine this channel was huge, suddenly, there'd be a lot of critics of it. <laughs> Ru3K-san! Konbanwa! Genki desu ka? Good to see you again, Ru3K. Yokoso, Japanese Quest away. Welcome to our... <laughs> Welcome to Japanese Quest. Yeah, you can see Ruth 3K as a subscriber has the, uh, the drap on saying, Mo -mo -mo! Thanks for bringing the Mo hype. That dragon is, a uh, the hype bringer for Japanese Quest. Welcome. Good to see you again. We get, get a kind of tough battle right now against the ninja robot maid. <laughs> nice. Don't worry, Igneal, I see it. I see it. I see the draft pawn. And you know, Igneal, um, you can s subscribe free if you have Amazon Prime, or um, if you don't have Amazon Prime, it is possible that people can gift subscriptions to each other, so you never know. Someday someone might gift you a subscription, and then you can use the draft pawn. So if you have the will, someday, Someday, maybe you can unleash the dragon as well. Because you can now gift each other subscriptions. If someone else wants to gift, it could happen. It's possible. Power up with Shioze. Let's power up in the game. Let's power up in Japanese. Let's get a combo going. What is going on here? I need to. I need to get it together. I keep talking, so I'm missing the combos. Let's get this win combo going. All right, let's do this win combo here. Here we go. All I gotta do is believe. So it is, and it's true. What is that from, by the way? I think I've heard like Parappa the Rapper say something like that. All right, so now we have one thing. Let's go back and get another. See if we can get another ball.
All right, let's try to get some light, light combo going. Light, light water. See if we can do that. Gunbody must. Oh no, Tor died. This is bad. Abu Knight. We cannot have Tor die. Gunbody must. Gunbody must. Gotta believe this ninja robot maid is no joke. Okay, here we go. We got the other light one off. Let's see if we can get water off. We can get water off now. Yosh. You think we're ready for the combo yet, or should we wait a little while? Nice, now we got two of the globes on there. So, Ru 3K says, Shinjiru yo ni natta. You believe, you believe. Yokatta. It's good to believe. Okay, I think we're ready for the combo, so let's do it. Hopefully. Oh no, we're not. It's not all the way up, because Tora died. Let's see if we can get it powered up again. Just in time, maybe. There we go. Chain attack. Start. Nice. She is powerful, so that did some damage. Yatta. Shinda. I shall I shall believe. What is that from? I keep hearing that. I shall believe. Yeah, you never know. Someone may gift you with a subscription, or you never know, someday, maybe. Time will tell. It is possible. Uh, let's see if we can break one of these, get the combos to continue. No, but she's still destroyed. Level up, push that. Yatta. So this is all kind of robot speak, so it's kind of weird Japanese with a lot of kanji. So saying, Saksen Suiko, so completing the mission uh, has experienced difficulties. Time for a strategic, it's necessary for a strategic retreat. I have Handan, so the, made a judgment to do that. Wait! Kiku! Uh oh. Nigeta! Nigeta! Nigechatta! She ran off. Saksen, Konnan. Yeah, more vocab. Saksen is good. Konnan, maybe a little trickier, but yeah, good vocab. Another dog wants to fight. Caillou, yeah, Caillou is a good one. <laughs> Caillou, for anyone watching, it's kind of like a meme we have on Japanese Quest. For some reason, Caillou porridge keeps com coming up. So on this quest, we not only level up in the game, we not only level up in Japanese, we also level up in other areas, some of them strange. Like, we level up in porridge. Caillou de... Leveru up shio. Well, where are all these soldiers coming from? This is ridiculous. So probably not a good idea to build two orbs unless you have the opposite element to prevent random targeting. Uh, yeah. Probably a good idea. So does it. That's okay, we still got the kill, but yeah. I'll keep that in mind. Wow, this is nuts. Wait, we can equip three blades. Oh, can we now? Let's do that then. That would be nice. Let's maybe try to get some new blades after this too. Let's try to resonate some more. Alright, let's do a combo here. Oh yeah, I think we can reason. Good to know. I forgot. What's the shot? 
forgot, forgot. Yatta. Taoshita. They're getting crushed with our new blades. Level up, Ushimashita. Yatta. Let's get some money. Blade no Kodai Senden. <laughs> I think uh, that gave you kind of weird one on Google Translate, Route 3 k Kodai is a word you don't see that much, meaning like hyperbole. Um, anyone know if it's possible to switch targets and chain attack? No, I don't think so, but if anyone knows, that would be good to know. How about the power of light? That's what I like to say to these guys. How about the power of light? What do you think of us now? Imagine fighting someone and you're like fighting them with like bayonets and like a gun. And they're just like bringing down like beams of light and like light swords. That would kind of break your morale. How do you fight with light, really? Like light as a blade. Seems not fun from their end. Feel kind of bad for these guys. Fighting with conventional weapons. So Igniel says, chain attacks feel weaker. Yeah. They can get crazy at the end if you get the enough orbs though. But at first that's my same feeling, but... But I saw my brother in the late game doing some crazy combos. And it's like, whoa, they did like more damage than any other game. So I think most soldiers would lose morale if they were beat by an anime shonen protag protagonist. So desu ne. Ooh, what do we got here? Himitsu no takarabako. Nice, we found a secret treasure. Yeah, but you can't topple lock 120 dragons with these chain attacks. True, toppling is not as crazy in this game. The topple lock. All right, um, what we're gonna do, let's save the game by, uh, let's do some blades and then let's add more blades. So we just have commons, let's do a common or two. Hi, dochou shimasu, let's resonate. Dare de shou, who will it be? Dare,誰誰。約束しよう。俺が君を守るってな。君を守る。Eh, nice. He'll protect us. It's good to know. Uh, and he has the power of wind and agriculture. Nice, no gaku. Let's try one more. Yatemiru. And let's start let's start to think about what words will add to our power level today. Let's do that soon. If anyone's just joining. If you want to suggest any words, feel free to join the chat. You can become a party member if you follow. We can all suggest words and increase our power level together in this Japanese quest. Who do we have here? Another new party member. Another new blade for our party. <laughs> what are you saying there? A blade? Like an, a blade ruby or hebe? Uh, are you talking about like blade socket or something? Uh, okay. Let's look at our... Let's see if we can get three blades now, like we talked about. Hold up! Sure enough, we can. Uh, we probably want a healer on here. So maybe let's bring in some ice. And let's bring in maybe this guy. Uh, 
I don't know. Do we want two attackers, though? Is that bad on her? I don't know. We don't have another healer who's a rare. Like, where can we see who's healer anyway? Like, we can see their abilities, but... Was trying to... T t uh, Haipu in Katakana. Ah, uh, nice. Haipu, Haipu. When did you get Perun? Yesterday, I believe. Let's see. Haipu. Yeah. Check out what Polarum said. Copy and paste that. Haipu. Haipu. That would work. Um, who should we add, you think? It's the third blade here. I want way in from the party. Because I'm not an expert at blades. Should we add a healer? Who's a common? Um, should we add one of these rare attack blades? Uh, or should we add a healer common? What do you think? Any opinions for people that have played this game? Another thing we do in this Japanese quest for anyone just joining is we help each other on this quest. We give each other suggestions in Japanese, but also in the game. We can help each other, work together, and then together we'll level up. Ishoni, level up. Yeah, maybe, uh... Oh, so it says their role, Kogeki. We probably want his healer, I would think. I don't know. Kaifuku. Alright, I'm gonna go with what you said, Poram. Healers. Alright, let's go with the Kaifuku. Uh, what element? It would be good. Ice, maybe? Domoimasu ka. Let's go for the ice. Let's go with eyes. Sure. Yosh. So yeah, I did full healers on Nia at the same time. Also put together all blades depending on my power members. Hmm. Yeah, it could be good. Let's we can leave it like that for now. So again, let's start to think about what words we'll add to our power level. Our power level is currently 160. You can see in the lower right. But let's make that power level go up today, at least to 165, hopefully. So especially Poram today has been writing a lot of words down. What words do you think we should add to our power level? That screen is a gold mine of words. Yeah, a lot of the menus are really good for learning new words when you play these games, because you see them. Repetition is what really helps you learn words. There's some... I've heard before, if you see a word like seven times, sometimes I've heard like 13 times, Sometimes it takes seeing a word that many times to learn it in many different contexts. So uh, yeah, let's start powering up. Let's go to our power up screen. Uh, so you can see Goku there doing push-ups. The last thing he learned was tada. Let's change that. Now he's going to study a new word. Let's see what it will be. Kayu. Porridge. So now Goku is leveling up with Porridge. Let's look it up in the dictionary and let's uh, get that power level up today. Level up Ushio. Oh, see now we have two people looking at our power level. We got a walrus and we got a blobfish looking at it. Nice. If anyone else wants to join, you can look at that list. It's a Google spreadsheet that we have linked under the power level section on Twitch. So Kayu. Let's just look it up in the dictionary here on Jisho. You see the kanji, you see the hiragana, kayu, and then we can clip it with our Rikai tool. You can download that for free. Momomo, thanks for bringing the dragon in here. The dragon is great for when we're powering up to bring the hype, the power up hype. So kayu, let's level up to 161. What else? What other words? Any other suggestions? We could also look at the list. This again is the list that was made by our Nakama, Poram. You can see Poram in the chat right there. So Poram, when did you make this list? Was it like years ago? So Poram here made a list of gaming vocabulary in Japanese. Nice, I see more than the Nopon there. 
yeah, if someone subscribes, if you type that in or click on the um, no pun emote, you can do that. So you made it a while ago. Cool. Some of these words though we saw, so it could be good to add. But I see Kaifuku. Kaifuku is a little tricky, but let's see. Let's see what uh what level that is. So Kaiyu you can see is N1 words. So check it out. We learned an N1 word today. <laughs> Very high level word, N1. That's the highest level of the proficiency test. Kaiyui is even a lower level word. That means itchy. That's N2, the highest level. So let's see. So we learned a very high level word today. But that's okay. Let's check out kaifuku. That means to heal. Whoops, kaifuku. Fuku. Kaifuku to heal. N3 word. But it's such a, a word you see so much, healing, that I think it is good. We can even imagine those two words together. Like, to heal after you eat the porridge. Um, it was made to encourage people to learn Japanese with video games, so I'm happy you're using it. I believe that's shield. Shirudo. Uh, that would be katakana shield, but usually you see that, like, tate is the word for, sh word for shield. Uh, let's see. Kaifuku. Let's add that. And then power up to 162. Any more words? Yeah, tate is shield. Let's see what level that is. Tate. Tate, shield. So tate can mean vertical. It's a different meaning, and that's an N5 word. Really, N5? For tate? That's not... That's trickier than N5, I would say. And then, wow, tate for shield is N1. So the, according to this, tate for shield is a lot harder. Interesting. And if you keep going down, there's more words that have tate in them. Like, this is actually the most common one, maybe. Tate mono, building. That's an N5 word. Or tateru to build. Or tateru to stand. So those are all probably more common. And yeah, root 3k nakama we did add. That was one of the first words added. Um, tategaki, yeah, for vertical type. I still think it's weird that this is N5. I feel like that's kind of... Especially like... Yeah, tate is not that easy of a word. So that's kind of strange that that's N5, in my opinion. Um... So tate could be good. It might be a bit hard. What do you think? Do you guys want to add tate to our power level? Shield? Did we see that in the game? Because I, I did see it on your list. Tate. Yeah, we can see here. Tate shield for the for a gaming word. Um, we saw something similar to this. Dorobo for thief. Kutsu. Buki is weapon. That's a good one. Chi. Yeah, chi is pretty good. We did see chi today. Chi might be better. I think then tate. Let's let's hold off on tate. Uh, or chi is N4. Okay, let's add that. What do you guys do you guys say yay or nay on tate? Let's get a quick yay or nay on tate. If I if we get yes on tate, let's learn it. But other way otherwise let's get a chi first. Chi is good. Blood. It's good to know how to say blood. You never know when that'll come up. It's also using a lot of expressions. So let's definitely add chi. And then let's get a yay. We got a yay on, on tate. Okay, we'll add tate too. Because it's fine if we learn N1 words too, because we want to learn them all. It doesn't matter. It's kind of fun to learn learn words that are a bit trickier. You can show off then if you want. <laughs> you can say, check out this N1 word I know. Tate. Shield. And here's the kanji for it. By the way, also means vertical. And stand. So we got the word for shield. It's a good fantasy name. Fantasy word too, you see it a lot. Okay, we need one more word. So that word is too tricky for us right now, Ru. Jinsoku. But an easier version of that, like Hayai, might be good. Um, but we only need, really need one more word now. So what's another word we saw today that we can maybe add? What about onsen? Because we went to an onsen. That could be a good one. And that's an easy one, too. A lot of people have heard that. But it is a Japanese word with a kanji. Onsen. Wow, N2, really? It says it's N2. Yeah, Hayai. We will add a Hayai. Maybe not right now, but we will certainly add that. That's a really good word. You hear that all the time in anime, like, ah, Hayai. Yeah, we could add that, too. 
outside bath, but why don't we add onsen? It's a really good basic word. We had the nice onsen scene today. So let's add that. Onsen. Okay, so let's look at the words we learned. Yesterday we added Hayashi. Woods, mori, forest. Using the kanji for tree. And you just add two together. It's woods, three together of the tree kanji. And you get forest. So three trees together makes a forest. We learned onaji, the same. And chigao different. So same and different. Onaji and chigao. We learned warao, which was ru 3 k Recommended that. That was yesterday. And I think a couple days ago, Keiken experienced po Poram suggested that one, I think. Uh, yeah, that is one of the symbols for the Monado. Because mo the Monado has like a shield ability. So that's why that symbol, that's one of the powers that Monado has. He had a lot of kanji for like different abilities that Monado had. Good point. Good comment there. Suro. Yeah, actually, osoi is the word for slow that you would want. Ru. Hayai osoi, fast and slow. Yep, Monado shield. And then today we learned Kayu, porridge, high level word, N1 word. We learned Kaifuku, I think that was an N3 word, also high level. We learned Chi, I think it was N4, so a bit more basic, very good word to learn. Tate, also a high level word, meaning shield. It was an N1 word, and apparently the Monado had that ability too. The shield Monado, Tate ability. And then we went to the Onsen today, so that's a good word to add. We had that Onsen scene earlier. If anyone didn't see it, you can check out the VOD and see any of that earlier scenes we saw. Yeah, Osoi. Good Ru. That's the word for slow. Osoi. Look at as we're doing this, as we're leveling up, they keep eating these cakes down here. Check this out. Look at all the cakes. They just keep eating the cakes. <laughs> keep eating cakes as we're leveling up here. All right, so let's change our power level to 165. Yatta, tsuyoku natta. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? Hyakurokugo. Hyakurokugo ju, ijo da. So we are, our power level is now above 165, is what you can say in Japanese. Our power level has gone up a lot. Are we going to give everyone hats today? Dokana. Maybe, not sure. Literally eating a pile of sugar. Yeah, they just keep eating the cakes. Kira kira sato. Yeah, shining sugar. Ja, so we powered up. Our power level is now 165. Next time, we will continue the chase after this ninja maid robot. And we will find out the mystery of what she's all about. And maybe, just maybe, we'll find Tora's long lost father. Um, also tomorrow, we'll continue leveling up in Japanese. At the same time, 8 o'clock. Hachiji kara. Today we learned kara, so you can say from 8 o'clock. Hachiji kara. From 8 o'clock central time. And uh, yeah, I think we'll leave the stream there today. So thank you everyone who joined. Thank you for the new followers we had. Furugura, the new party members. Taksakala, Kazumaru. If anyone else is watching, you can become a party member too. And uh, we can draw hats and we can level up together. Isho ni level up shiyoze. Niongo de. Ego de. Jinse de. Xenoblade de. We got the hats. The level up hats. The hats are unstoppable. Ooh, we got the drapon. Bring in the hype. I gotta draw that, draw that trap pawn too. Sayonara, Ru 3K san. Let's bring in the trap pawn. Bring in the hype. Mo 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 mo. Mina, ja, mata ne, kyo wa honto ni tanoshikatta. Mata ashita. The hype. The hype rises. またね。